Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. Today I'm going to be taking you through a short tutorial on 2D ducting. Um, so I've got a floor plan here in gray. You can barely see it, but that's good because we're going to be working over the top of this. You go into the Layers menu and I've got this layer called 2D Wall. Uh, I've locked it. So that's kind of a good idea because we're going to be working in this and we don't want to disrupt the uh, background. So um, make sure that's locked. And um, let's go ahead and load up MetQ. We're going to be working in this area only in the ribbon. But before we start, let's go ahead and check our settings down here. For eSnap, I have endpoint, perpendicular, and midpoint selected. And those should be good. If we right click on the polar tracking and go to settings, I have ND track setting set to orthogonal. Uh, you could be using polar uh, tracking angles as well. And I'm going to be using object snap tracking in this video to locate some of the elements in the, uh, in the system. So let's begin by going into the diffuser utility. And here I have 12 inches. I'm going to use, be using 8 inch size here and a 24 by 24 the direction is going to be supply I'm going to choose draw I'm going to find the midpoint here come over this way and then find the uh, intersection here this is using object snap tracking And uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and draw another one of these. And my fourth one is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a return diffuser. I'm going to be selecting uh, 14 inches for this one. And I'm going to be putting this outside here. I suppose I could align this with the others. So let's let me just go ahead and do that by choosing the move command. Now that we got our diffusers in, um, I'm going to go ahead and be putting in a air handling unit. So I'll select that from the accessories pull down. I've got this already pre-configured to this diagram. So I've on these sides I have everything turned off. But let's say on side three I have my return air, which is my right side. And on the left side, I have my supplier. So let's go ahead and draw this. We'll be putting this right about here. I've already saved these changes, so I'm going to cancel this option. Next, I'm going to be putting in a straight piece of duct. I got a 14 by 12 here. I'm actually going to be using a 42 by 16. And for my shape, I have rectangular. Insulation is exterior. Uh, in my options, I have the draw 3D turned off. And I have the lengths label turned on. Choose draw. I'm going to be drawing this out 10 feet. Then I'm going to reduce this down using the transform utility uh, to a 30 by 12. I rotate that in. 
then another straight piece. It's already adjusted this for me, so I don't have to worry. Let's draw this out at 15 feet. Then let's put one more reducer in. Come up here to the transform utility. And this time we're gonna choose a rectangular to round, which is this one here. And so we've got a 30 by 12 to a 12. and then we're gonna exit out. So next let's put in some branches. So we've got an eight by four here, which is fine. A rectangular uh, main to round branch. So we'll put one right here in the middle. Once the size of the main duct, so that's 42. and we'll rotate that around. We'll do another one. This time let's align it with the uh, diffuser here. And rotate it around. just need one more for the return air. So let me get out of this real quick here and put on another piece of duct here on the opposite side which I forgot to do. So we're going to be doing a 42 by 16. And we're going to come out three feet. And now let's go ahead and put the branch on there. All right, so before we do the flexible ducting, let me just check one more thing here. So let's turn off a couple of these. be snapping to the center of this diffuser so I need those settings and loading up the accessory menu again I've got 8 inch and then I got the 90 degree bend at the finish of the run and choose draw and I'm going to be starting here I'm using my object snap tracking here to find the, the middle of that and snapping to the center and then I'm going to press enter All right, and then we have one more. Let's go into the accessory menu. Change this to 14. Use the object tracking to find the point. And then snapping to the center and pressing enter. All right, so that completes the uh, video today. Um, hopefully this has been helpful. Feel free to email me if you have any questions. I can be reached at 888-271-7121. And in the next video, I'm going to be doing this same model in 3D. 
So stay tuned for that and have a great day.